Amy Jade Winehouse, born September 14, 1983 and died July 23, 2011, was an English singer and songwriter. She was known for her deep, expressive contralto vocals and her eclectic mix of musical genres, including soul, rhythm, and blues and jazz. A member of the National Youth Jazz Orchestra during her youth, Winehouse signed to Simon Fuller's 19 Management in 2002 and soon recorded a number of songs. Before signing a publishing deal with Emmy, she also formed a working relationship with producer Salam Remy through these record publishers. Winehouse's debut album, Frank, was released in 2003. Many of the album's songs were influenced by jazz and, apart from two covers, were co-written by Winehouse. Frank was a critical success in the UK and was nominated for the Mercury Prize. The song, Stronger Than Me won her the Ivor Novello Award for Best Contemporary Song from the British Academy of Songwriters, Composers, and Authors. Winehouse released her follow-up album, Back to Black, in 2006, which went on to become an international success and one of the best-selling albums in UK history. At the 2007 Brit Awards it was nominated for British Album of the Year, and she received the Award for British Female Solo Artist. The song Rehab won her a second Ivor Novello Award. At the 50th Grammy Awards in 2008, she won five awards, tying the then record for the most wins by a female artist in a single night and becoming the first British woman to win five Grammys, including three of the General Field Big Four Grammy Awards, Best New Artist, Record of the Year and Song of the Year, for Rehab, as well as Best Pop Vocal Album. Winehouse was plagued by drug and alcohol addiction. She died of alcohol poisoning on July 23, 2011. After her death, Back to Black temporarily became the UK's best-selling album of the 21st century. VH1 ranked Winehouse 26th on their list of the 100 Greatest Women in Music. Amy Jade Winehouse was born on September 14, 1983 at Chase Farm Hospital in Gordon Hill, Enfield, to Jewish parents. Her father, Mitchell Mitch Winehouse, was a window panel installer and taxi driver. Her mother, Janice Winehouse, née Seaton, was a pharmacist, who suffers from multiple sclerosis. Winehouse's ancestors were Russian Jewish and Polish Jewish immigrants to London. She had an older brother, Alex, born 1979, and the family lived in London's Southgate area, where she attended Osage Primary School. Winehouse attended a Jewish Sunday school while she was a child. During an interview following her rise to fame, she expressed her dismissal towards the school by saying that she used to beg her father to permit her not to go and that she learned nothing about being Jewish by going anyway. In the same interview, Winehouse said she only went to a synagogue once a year on Yom Kippur out of respect. Many of Winehouse's maternal uncles were professional jazz musicians. Amy's paternal grandmother, Cynthia, was a singer and dated the English jazz saxophonist Ronnie Scott. She and Amy's parents influenced Amy's interest in jazz. Her father, Mitch, often sang Frank Sinatra songs to her, and whenever she got chastised at school, she would sing Fly Me to the Moon before going up to the headmistress to be told off. Winehouse's parents separated when she was nine, and she lived with her mother and stayed with her father and his girlfriend in Hatfield Heath, Essex, on weekends. In 1992, her grandmother Cynthia suggested that Amy attend the Susa Earnshaw Theatre School, where she went on Saturdays to further her vocal education and to learn to tap dance. She attended the school for four years and founded a short-lived rap group called Sweet and Sour, with Juliet Ashby, her childhood friend, before seeking full-time training at Sylvia Young Theatre School. Several years later it was reported that Winehouse had been expelled at 14 for not applying herself and also for piercing her nose, but these claims were denied by Sylvia. Young, she changed schools at 15, I've heard it said she was expelled, she wasn't. I'd never have expelled Amy. Mitch Winehouse also denied the claims. She attended the Mount School, Mill Hill, and the Brit School in Selhurst, Croydon, dropping out at age 16. After toying around with her brother Alex's guitar, Winehouse bought her own when she was 14 and began writing music shortly afterwards. Soon after she began working for a living, as an entertainment journalist for the World Entertainment News Network and also singing with local group The Balsha Band. In July 2000, she became the featured female vocalist with the National Youth Jazz Orchestra. She was influenced by Sarah Vaughan and Dinah Washington, the latter of whom she was already listening to at home. Winehouse's best friend. 
Soul singer Tyler James sent her demo tape to an ANR person. Winehouse's bodyguard said that he had arrived at her residence three days before her death and felt she had been somewhat intoxicated. He observed moderate drinking over the next few days and said she had been laughing, listening to music and watching TV at 2 a.m. the day of her death. At 10 a.m. BST on July 23, 2011, he observed her lying on her bed and tried unsuccessfully to rouse her. This did not raise much suspicion because she usually slept late after a night out. According to the bodyguard, shortly after 3 p.m., he checked on her again and observed her lying in the same position as before, leading to a further check, in which he concluded that she was not breathing and had no pulse, he said he called emergency services. At 3.54 p.m., two ambulances were called to Winehouse's home in Camden, London. Winehouse was pronounced dead at the scene. Shortly afterwards, the Metropolitan Police confirmed that she had died. After her death was announced, media and camera crews appeared, as crowds gathered near Winehouse's residence to pay their respects. Forensic investigators entered the flat as police cordoned. Off the street outside, they recovered one small and two large bottles of vodka from her room. After her death, the singer broke her second Guinness World Record, for the most songs by a woman to simultaneously appear on the UK singles chart, with eight. A coroner's inquest reached a verdict of misadventure. The report released on October 26, 2011 explained that Winehouse's blood alcohol content was 416 mg per 100 ml, 0.416%, at the time of her death, more than five times the legal drink drive limit. According to the coroner, the unintended consequences of such potentially fatal levels was her sudden death. Winehouse's record label, Universal Republic, released a statement that read in part, We are deeply saddened at the sudden loss of such a gifted musician, artist, and performer. Many musical artists have since paid tribute to Winehouse including U2, M.I.A., Lady Gaga, Marianne Faithful, Bruno Mars, Nicki Minaj, Keisha Buchanan, Rihanna, George Michael, Adele, Kelly Clarkson, Courtney Love, and the punk rock band Green Day, who wrote a song in her tribute titled Amy. In her 2012 album Bunga, singer Patti Smith released This Is The Girl, written as an homage to Winehouse. Mark Ronson dedicated his UK number one album Uptown special to Winehouse, stating, I'm always thinking of you and inspired by you. Winehouse did not leave a will, her estate was inherited by her parents. Winehouse's parents set up the Amy Winehouse Foundation to prevent harm from drug misuse among young people, her brother Alex is an employee. In 2012, Winehouse was among the British cultural icons selected by artist Sir Peter Blake to appear in a new version of his most famous artwork, the Beatles Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band album cover, to celebrate the British cultural figures of his life that he most admires. On September 14, 2014, which would have been Winehouse's 31st birthday, a statue was unveiled of her, which was created by sculptor Scott Eden, at Stables Market, in Camden Town, North London. Fans and relatives gathered for the unveiling in Camden's Stable Market, where it will be a permanent memorial to her. London-based Eden, who sculpted the piece after being introduced to Winehouse's father Mitch, said the statue was meant to capture her attitude and strength, but also give subtle hints of insecurity. Her father Mitch said of the statue, now Amy will oversee the comings and goings of her hometown forever. Amy was in love with Camden and it is the place her fans from all over the world associate her with. In March 2020, Winehouse's name on a stone was unveiled on the new Music Walk of Fame in Camden, with her parents Mitch and Janice in attendance at the ceremony. Winehouse was raised Jewish and expressed pride in being Jewish, although she was not religious. During one interview, Winehouse said being Jewish to me is about being together as a real family. It's not about lighting candles and saying a bracha. Winehouse also frequently performed with a large star of David Medallion. In 2013, in memory of Winehouse the Jewish Museum London ran an exhibition titled Amy Winehouse, a family portrait. The museum researched about her paternal great-great-grandfather's arrival from Minsk in 1890, and how the family finally settled in London, starting out in working-class jobs before gradually moving to middle-class jobs. Winehouse had 14 known tattoos, including Daddy's Girl on her left arm for her father and a pin-up girl with the name Cynthia on her right arm in memory of her Jewish grandmother. Tell me your favorite song of Amy's.
and who you want to see in our next video.